If you're like us and you like breakfast any time of the day, then you're going to love this loaded breakfast skillet. Or as we say in the South, skillet hash. Well, we're going to show you how it's done. So, so come, come on, on in. in. everyone thanks for watching cooking with shotgun red and i'm sheila i'm jennifer and today she got me up too early because this is a breakfast recipe that's right but i'm hungry i am it's starving. early and okay. we got to make something good so yeah. we have a recipe that has everything you love for breakfast in it's just one pan. pan so we're going to show you how it's done we're going to show you how it's done we're going to show you how it's done <laughs> It's easy for me to say this early in the morning. Goodness gracious. We're going to take you back to our skillet on the stove and we're going to start frying up our bacon. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of this pan. You don't need a lot because you're going to have bacon grease. Okay, so we got a little olive oil in the pan and we're going to start frying up our bacon. Now that sounds like breakfast. Doesn't that? It's going to smell like breakfast soon, too. There ain't nothing like bacon in the skillet. We're going to turn on the smell of bacon. That's right. Now, earlier we, we sliced these up, or Sheila sliced these all up. She was busy, even though she was half asleep. Mama Donna made Jennifer get up, and then she made me get up. See? It's a chain reaction. <laughs> so we're going to fry up this bacon until it's just about brown and cooked. We don't want it too crispy because we're still going to put it in the oven, so we want it okay. just about done. Yeah, I'll finish cooking in the oven. Then. Yeah, but get it pre-cooked. Now, we already have our ham and our sausage pre-cooked, so we're just going to get this going first. So now that we got this just about crispy, don't want it all the way crispy yet because we're going to cook it some more. We're going to put it on a towel to drain it, leave the drippings inside. Doesn't that smell good, she-she? It does. You waking up yet? Yes, I'm very much awake now. <laughs> it's getting closer and closer in time to eat. That's right. Oh, this is going to be good with some coffee. And those homemade biscuits we made and all that good stuff. All right, so while that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and add my pre-cooked sausage into that oil and from the bacon grease and the ham. So I'm going to flavor it up a little bit. Just for a minute, I'm going to turn that down and start popping in that grease. That's okay. These are pre-cooked, but all I want to do is flavor that meat up a little bit before. Because these, the ham and the sausage is already pre-cooked. So we don't need to cook it again. We're just going to just flavor it up with that bacon grease. We already put that bacon on the paper towel and absorbed some of that oil that was in it. So now I'm just going to scoop this up. And you're going to want to use a slotted spoon, so you keep all the drippings in there again. We're going to take about a half a cup of chopped red onion. And this is about a cup of mushrooms. I think that's probably going to, I'm not going to put quite that, I'm about three quarter cup of mushrooms. And these are diced up, or these are quartered, right Sheila? They are. I did all them all ago by myself. That's right. She's a little chopper. She's over there quartering things and chopping up bacon. And that's one way to wake up, isn't it? It is. And we're just going to saute this up a little bit and shrink these mushrooms down and soften up the onion a little bit. All right, so when those are just about reduced down in size, you can see the, the mushrooms, they shrunk. They did. She, she, I shrunk I the thought, mushrooms. I <laughs> more than that. <laughs> it looked like a lot more, didn't it? Yes. So we've got our Orita Potatoes O'Brien. Right. And we're going to pour this in right along with the rest of it. The rest of it. And what I like about this, it's already got the onions, peppers, all the things that you want for taste without having to do all the work. If you're tired in the morning, you want to chop up all that stuff, you can just use this. It's already got it. And I've, I put about three quarters of the bag in there because we still have stuff to add and I don't want to overstuff this when I put all the meat and everything back in. And what we want to do is mix that up in with our bacon grease 
and our mushrooms and our onions. And you can even make this the night before too and then get it out of the now, fridge. Yeah, and you want to make sure that these are thawed potatoes because otherwise you'll be sitting here for a while. It's better that you already have these potatoes thawed out. Oh, I bet you this is delicious the next day after it I sits. am glad you saw that little piece. I'm going to get that little piece. You know how I am. You know how you are. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go, wait, 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 get it. Get that little piece. All right, we're going to let this brown up a little bit on the bottom, and then we're going to flip it a little bit. Okay, so we covered it for just a couple minutes so that we get it going, and then I turned up the heat to medium high, and then I uncovered it, and now we're going to flip it over, and you'll see it starts browning on the bottom and getting a little bit more brown, and that's what we want. We want that the potatoes to turn brown. So we'll let that brown up a little bit on medium high, and then we'll add our meat back in getting brown and that's what you want that toasty brown bottom on them taters yeah we're going to be turning these every two to three minutes and checking them because you don't want them to get burnt just brown so we're going to add back in our ham our sausage and our bacon and mix that back in gently because your potatoes are probably getting softened because they're getting cooked. And I'm just kind of flipping them off the bottom there. You're going stir crazy over there. Jim. That's right. It smells so dang good. There's another one. Did I drop another one? Yes. Sheila's not going to let me drop it. Nope. Thin. Thin there. What you want to do is take a regular soup ladle. I'm going to turn the heat off now. Take your soup ladle and you're just going to press a hole, about four of them, so that you can put your eggs in the hole. <laughs> My mother changes to it. She says I couldn't crack an egg on a plate, so she made me put it in a bowl. <laughs> makes me laugh and we're just going to crack our egg right into those holes. I know how to crack eggs. Mama. They roll around. <laughs> she didn't want to have to clean it up off the floor. I know. Just right on in there like that. We've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees and Miss Sheila is going to carry this and put this in the oven. But before we do, we need a little salt and pepper. Just a little shake here or there, some pepper and some salt. Don't need a lot of salt because the ham and bacon is going to salt it up. And take a little bit of our blend cheese. We got Mexican blend cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you like, whatever you have on hand. But you know how we love our cheese, she she. I know, we love cheese. If it's got cheese, we're happy. Thanks for putting that piece of cheese back in there. You are so welcome. I wouldn't want you to be disappointed. I know. You don't. Okay, so we got the cheese on there. And then we're going to add a little bit of green onions. Because I love green onions. It's colorful, isn't it, Sheila? It is. <laughs> you know me. I like color. I know. Her and her color. We laugh with Sheila all the time about her color. All right, Sheila. You go, girl. Let's put it in the oven. Okay. that. Yum. I'm going to bring it right over here and have us a loaded breakfast skillet. Yummy. Look at that. And it was in there for about like 15 minutes. Just until the eggs got to the consistency that we wanted them. So we like our kind of over medium with a little bit of yolk. Exactly. You could have them any way you want. Easy, medium, hard. It really just depends on what you like. You could have them scrambled if you really wanted to. But we're going to do it like this, and it just looks so yummy. Look at I'm that. I'm ready. I got this. She's ready. She's I holding on to that skillet. All right. Get that in, and I'll get this in. Okay. Well, I can't grab that in. I'll just grab this in. Okay, get that in. Because there's no way I'm touching that hot pan. Oh, <laughs> it was hot. Putting that in there and taking it out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See there? See? That's some good stuff. All that ham and bacon and sausage and taters and And our cheese. biscuit. Oh, yeah. 
We made those yummy biscuits. And, oh no, I'm, I'm going to fill you up there. I see you are. Because you're hungry. You told yes. me so. Yes. I want to get, well, I'll get that one right there. Yeah, get that one. I'm going to get that one. Okay. As soon as you quit taking pictures, we will eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Forks, Forks up. up. Here we go. Try it out. Let's try it. I'm putting it up here. <laughs> you're going to shovel that in, huh? I'm going to shovel it up here. Oh, yeah. Ready? Wait, should I bring the plate up with you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Share it. Mmm. Wow. This this is worth getting up early. This is definitely worth getting up early. I'm gonna have another bite. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna get a piece of this egg. Mm hmm. I like all the flavors of the uh, meats and the onions. And the mushrooms and everything that's in here. This is so good. So full of flavor. She's not even going to talk anymore. She's just going to keep eating because she's hungry. Mm -hmm. Got her up too early. <laughs> well. Now I'm going to drink my coffee. Now you're going to have some coffee. She's, she's, she's doing good. Yes. Got her coffee. Coffee mug. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Well, as Steve would say, is this the best? Loaded breakfast skillet, also known as skillet hash. If it ain't, it ought to be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of our social media links are right below along with this delicious recipe you are going to want to try. Yes, definitely. <laughs> this is good. Keep We're going to be eating. We're happy. This is this and our biscuits and everything you're definitely going to want to try. And we have our Shotgun Red website down below. Visit our Shotgun Red website. You can submit a recipe and share one of your recipes with us. Cause Yeah, do that. We love to try new recipes. While we're eating, send your recipes. <laughs> it gives us great ideas and, and we, like, we love to share recipes just like you. So if you've got a great recipe, there's a place to submit a recipe on there. And you can get our Shotgun Red coffee cups with Hunter Fisher Trapper Trader Guide Scout and Interpreter and... Is this the best cooking show? If it ain't, it ought to be. And you could get t-shirts and dolls and DVDs and so much more. Just visit shotgunred.com. Visit our free membership and join our free membership. Not just right. visit, join. Join it. Join our free membership. And we'll be keeping you up to date on the cookbook and so much more. And we appreciate you for watching today. Thanks so much. We'll see you. Yeah, what? and catch your breath and get you some coffee. Oh. You and that coffee. She's yes, gonna ask yeah. me about drinking my coffee. Don't worry, I'm gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> drink it, drink it, drink it. You just eat. I you am. Eat. Okay. I am. I am. <laughs> we'll see you. Always do. <laughs> we'll see you next time, right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna drink my coffee now. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen. Them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.